Hello, McWarriors. How is it going? And welcome to another episode of Rogue Tech. Guys, I want to get closer to the center of the Inner Sphere. I want to try to get to Solaris. And yeah, we have enough money to actually get there. There's also an Atlas in the making, which I'm actually quite excited about. So what are we doing now? I think we're going to just go and go to another planet because on this planet we don't really have any good missions anymore uh we could stay here for eight more days waiting for modules to rise up uh, uh let's go to hagnar hagnar seems good it's a four no five and a half skull planet we are we have a battlefield and a desert world maybe we can you know stop there get uh, a little bit of money from playing missions there and then we're gonna jump further into the center of the inner sphere getting to solaris so luckily we have 4.2 million sea builds right now. God, this this whole journey is so expensive. Absolutely expensive. And, and by the way, um, there was a, a flashpoint on the way. It was the Braying of Hounds. It is one of the flashpoint DLC flashpoints. It's not like super interesting to me. I would rather go to the ones that the Rogue Tech modders actually implemented. So I'm not gonna play like the vanilla stuff. Um, we gonna mount an immediate rescue expedition because we are in transit for a while and we can recover if something goes awry. We gain reputation with the Capellan Confederation. Nice. So, we got lucky here. Very good. Uh, let's keep going. We probably want to take a look at the Atlas while we are in transit, right? Um, that thing is currently in repair. But maybe we can make a build out of that. So, we'll check it out real quick. Very, very quickly. Oh, yeah, and then our Phoenix. I think I lost an arm last time, right? Yep, two double heat sinks, completely borken, but we can bring him back. We have the technology. Wait, where are these? Heat sink double. One and the two. At some point, we probably need to make it a clan double heat sink, dude? Question mark? I think so. Freeing up some slots to actually get like patchwork in there or maybe uh, an upgrade on the armor so we can get more weight on the mech would be nice. Would be fan freaking tastic. Maybe we can do it already. Give me a sec. Um, we have uh, patchwork is here. Tier 3. We have so much patchwork. That's insane. So if we take it, hmm. If we put it here, uh, you can see we are lowering our tonnage quite dramatically. And if, that's a lot of ifs here, I know. If we put this in the mech, um, and drop these, and then instead get clan doubles, which we only have three of. Ooh, all right. You can see we, we are still open in slots. And if we take another patchwork, tier three, on the other side, uh, let's make it a tier two. Huh? Huh? All right. We have a ton and a slot. What are we doing with a ton and a slot? I have no idea. <laughs> I just don't know. And honestly, it's not really that expensive either. Think it makes sense getting there. Negative 46 heat. And still. And still, this is kind of... Kind of... Kind of hot. Or is it? Maybe we are fine with the small laser build now. Yeah, I think the... the we don't need to cool that that much. Oh, hear me out, guys. We might be able to get something done here. Um, with the whole small laser situation, we could easily go for more ammunition for, let's say, the bomb? Sure. Sure, absolutely. I'm not entirely sure if that's the way to go. Negative 28. 28. We, we need to get some extra cooling for uh, the sake of jumping around. We don't want to overheat that much. We want to be able to jump. But I think this is okay. So, we're gonna make this a patchwork tier 3 again. Bam. Right. Anything else that we can put in the mech? Anything that we can upgrade? I think the ER small laser beams are fine. I think we just need a bit more longevity in form of ammunition. We got the Bombay, the FAE wing bounds, AGM. How many shots do we get here? Four? That's beautiful. And that's like a double bin, so we have a total of eight shots, does that? Yeah, we, wait, we have two bins of these. Okay, so we have eight shots of AGM. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We'll take a look at bomb ammo. Let me take, uh, uh, let's go over here. Let me take a look at this. So, Inferno Bombs are nice. I really want to play with Inferno Mines a little bit. Let's put these in here, and then there's another high explosive bomb. All right, looking good. We still have so much tonnage. 
I'm running a sheath beacon currently. Wait, can we get back our stealth armor? Uh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Where is stealth armor? Uh, I think we had it and we lost it or something, right? I cannot put regular stealth armor in there. Can I? It has to, I think it has to be lamb stealth. Let me check this out real quick. Oh, crap. Um, Alright, just for the sake of a test. I can put regular stealth armor in there. That makes the mech so much more defensible. I like that a lot. Like, a lot. Alright, so, that means, um, we also... God, this is, this is awkward. We also need to free up another slot. Yeah, we gotta put the ammo on the arms, which I hate to do, but okay. But with stealth armor, we also now generate way more heat. That means I think I need to drop the patches yet again. That's alright. Put this in here still. Good. Good, good, good. Oh, this thing was a radical. This thing was a radical. I'm gonna keep the radical here. Put one double heat sink in there. Again, we're... Oh, wait, no, no. Wait, 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 wait. We can put another double. I think we, we, we are on a very good way here. Also, a slave unit would be so nice. Oh, man. All the goodies, right? Let me get another double. So now we are filled up and we are half a ton under, which I don't like, but I think it's fine. I mean, I could make one of these small lasers. I could make it a medium laser if I wanted to. Still fantastic heat. How did we change that? So we basically... We basically changed... <gasps> weight! 10% extra weight? For the aluminium armor? What? This is just bad armor? We could have overridden that like ages ago with just stealth. I love it. Can we even use it? Uh, no, we cannot. Okay, so never mind. No, we got we got a violation here. Oh man. Oh man. Ah, oh, would have been so cool, right? All right. So that means we need patchwork in order to patch it up. Cool, cool, cool. Uh, I just uh, I needed to check that out. So we have like what three slots? Put patchwork here. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. What did we win? We won a bin of mines, right? That's it. That's what we got. So, oh uh, man, I'll drop a little, little bit from the legs. And I think we are good to go. Still have one slot open. Uh, would be two patchwork tier two better than one tier three? The answer is yes. Let's do it like this. One down, one down, bit up bit up and a bit more there we go 127 it's a weird one i know but it is a thing that could work now i really want to play around with the mines i know that regular mines are not great but these are inferno mines these are just here to clutter the area and just make everything burn and that's beautiful uh, it's only one shot right it's not like a double shot that we can take here i think this might be just one yeah this is a double here Good enough? I'd say yes. So we have two high explosives, we have one, uh, two infernos, one, yeah, we can totally use our bomb bay a little bit more. Perfect. I am excited to test this out. It's gotta be good. So, <clears throat> on top of that, on top of that, we have this beautiful atlas, XL engine, double clan heat sinks, we have an AMS Mark II already in the mech. I think I want to put another one in the mech, so we're gonna start with that right away. Double AMS is fun. Put ammo down here. Give me more of that. Another one. Maybe even a third. Alright, LRMs are getting taken out. We don't need them. Laser Raker can go. Recon sensor. Good. So, the question is, what are we doing with this guy? We can either make it a melee mech, but we don't really have a good big engine right now. Which means we should not make it a melee mech. Um, it's not gonna be fast enough. So, we're gonna make it a shooty mech. What we have is... Oh, we have a ballistic hardpoint on the arm. You know what that means, right? Finally. It is time. I, I think it has to be. Let's go. Let's go over here to the spinning barrel one. Let me take my rock out. 
So I think I want to run the Rock 5 Riz because it deals more damage than the regular Rock. And I think it also has more range. It does. So 90 damage base instead of 120. And then 72 meters max as well as 600. So the Risk one is better in that regard. However, instead of 3 recoil... No. 1 recoil. And then plus 1 above... Above 4. So a maximum of 3 recoil. We get a maximum of 6 recoil here. So 1 per shot base but i think we got some goodies already right we got an upper recoil i'll take that here sadly we don't have a plus uh, and then we have a weapon mount recoil that's also good so we now mitigate to recoil innately um on top of that mm -mm -mm -mm. let me talk about fire control systems for a second we've got two battle computer recoil uh, I think I want a critical. I think I really want the critical battle computer as well. Because I'm not going to go for a missile support build as well. So now we mitigate three recoil. And if we have the military or ex-military background and focus fire skill, then we have another two recoil reduction, which means that currently we can shoot five shots without a problem. Also, this guy has a... Yeah, an 8% jam chance. An 8% jam chance. A shot can be mitigated by gunnery. So that's a thing that we need. Um, and I think this battle computer... He no, wait, the other one. This he has a 20% negative multiplier to jam chance. So we're gonna take that fire control system to go with the whole idea. Doesn't give us accuracy. Improved call shot mod modifiers, yes. But um, nothing else. If I am not mistaken, we have enhanced imaging to go with all of this. Which gives us night vision. And here's the thing. I was thinking about advanced optics, but these optics are just tier 1, which means we have a range of 540 meters, and then it doesn't help us anymore. I mean, the thermal vision is really good. This zoom here has a 1,800 meters range. No, wait, 1,080. 1080. Um, and imaging gives us night vision already, so the only thing that we are missing out on is the, uh, the thermal. Get the exchanger in here. I think we're gonna need it. We could also go with thermal from here. Uh, plus one for every 30 targeted target heat. God, that's good. Decaying at every 330 meter, at uh, 360 meters. God, I cannot talk. Oh man, did we just take optics? Decaying at every 200 meters. Man, Mark One is not good. It's really just good for close quarter combat. I think we'll we'll take the exchanger and the advanced zoom for the moment and we're gonna see how this goes. Alright, so now that we got that going, we still have a lot of tonnage. We start with a gyro. And I have two ideas here. Either defensive, just getting one evasion for movement. Just flat movement gives, gives one evasion. It's really good. For a mech that doesn't move that fast, it's a great benefit. Or dreadnought. For damage reduction and more more damage reduction when we go in a guarded state. Uh, stabilized ultra light would give us more weight to work with. It's two tons, roughly. Mm, XL is probably the same. Uh, it's a little less, actually. So it's either Dreadnought or Defense. Getting to cover is really good, and then having Bulwark for another 20% damage reduction, and then a 10% damage reduction innately. I think that's gonna be it. So, uh, I think Endoseal is the thing. We still have so much tonnage left over, that's incredibly good. Now, let's put some weapon systems, and let's, let's talk about ammo. I really hope that we can even run this guy. This thing runs regular ruck. It runs risk ruck ammo. Ha! Alright. So, we cannot even use it yet. But we can use the other one. That makes... Uh, that means... That means... We'll take this bag, big bad boy here. Also means that we don't really necessarily need the battle computers right now. So we could think about another fire control system giving us more innate accuracy. Might be the right call. Alright, let's talk about this. How many shots do we fire? I think we go, go fire all the time. Every time. So, 75 shots is... It's already 10 Alpha Strikes. It's 12 Alpha Strikes. Is this enough? 
Am I doing something wrong here in my head? 75 shots. It's crazy. And we shoot six times per alpha strike. Mm, 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 mm. I think this is fine. We're gonna stay here. Okay, so our... Our support weapon... What's our support weapon gonna be? I could take an MRM-40. What about MRM ammo? Uh, we don't really have the ammo for that, so we cannot do it. Good old LRMs. Always work. Never bad. Got some thunderbolts. I could make this guy fire big, big missiles at my enemies. MMLs, some ATMs, IATMs, all of these things will come together. What about Thunderbolt ammo? We got one Thunderbolt 20, two Thermobolts, 10, one Thunderbolt 10. Ah oh, man, it's only, it's only the 10 rated weapons that make sense here. We only have one of them. Mm, I'm not happy with that. E-LRMs. Regular LRMs. Give it 215 in a sphere, I guess. For the moment. This should be a mid-ranger here, by the way. I don't want it to be a long-range dude, per se. Nor do I want it to be a, a close-range dude. So, LRM ammo. What can we take? Are we going Artemis? I think I don't want to. Let me see. One bit of SAM so we can hit flyers a bit more easily. I like that. Tandem? Sure. Double bin? Sure. And that, that should be enough already. Could take incendiaries. Man, I'm really playing around with heat a lot here. But I think... That's gonna be alright. Good. With that being said, our support weapons are gonna be mid-range laser weapons and I... Th I think these should be ER mediums, or we take some, like, light PPCs or so. We have an EMP cannon. Interesting. It's rather short range, though. Mm, it's gonna be hard to fire and hit. Slazer. Slazer, Slazer. No, I don't think I'm gonna run that. ER large, ER medium, pirate. These are really good for charge builds. I wanna, at some point, I want to make a charge build happen. You know what? I want to slap as many ER Clan medium lasers on the mech as possible. And we're going to see where we land. 23 heat. 23 heat. I don't like it. You know what? I'll take Endo Steel out again so I can take more double heat sinks with me. One here. One here. Okay. So, that's just a sketch right now. Uh, I don't need to be uh, the battle computer recoil. I don't necessarily need the critical. And while this is giving us a jam chance multiplier, I feel like we should really get some kind of... Uh, give me give me predator or something. We don't have predator or something. Crap. Ballistic accuracy. Uh, it would completely need... It wouldn't give any accuracy to the medium lasers and the LRMs. Improved plan is alright for gunnery and night vision and... That's it. Call shot location modifier. Oh, we are, we are lacking stuff here. Recon sensor is good. I'm gonna keep that. Gunnery A is fine. It really helps us with our jam chance as well, because that is mitigated by gunnery, correct? Uh, do we have gunnery 2? No. So, what about sensors? thinking about... Ah, oh wait, we cannot run Beacon if we have Enhanced Imaging. And it might really come down to this kind of fire control system for just mitigating the jam. Some laser insulators, which I don't really want to put on medium lasers. So, here's the thing. I think I'm gonna drop two of these. So, we are... We're fine on the heat. We have three... Three ER mediums. It's not optimal, but it has to be good enough. Another thing I want is my my good old wait where's that where's that stuff good old C3 slave we want to add it to the network that makes sense doesn't mean we need to zoom then because we are not really we are shooting at medium small uh, medium or short range anyway that means we can actually use the optics right that's a good combination. And it's, this mech is not even that hard to build. It's it's very, very cheap. It's, I love it. 
All right, so that being said, negative 25 heat. So I could get one more laser on the mech, on the side door. So is there any other thing? We don't have good electronics yet. Let's talk about some kind of Guardian ECM. Period. Just Guardian ECM. If I want to, I could go stealth on this guy. Or mimetic stealth. He's not gonna move that fast. Ten percent more heat when active. So we would generate eight more heat. I wonder if, um, like, a guardian ECM is a no-brainer here. We needed one slot on each component to activate stealth. Interesting. Interesting. Let me think about it. So heatsink goes here. AMS ammo goes here, that goes here, that goes here, uh, the double bin with like, uh, uh, like this. I don't really want to put anything here that's ammo. Ah, crap. Let's put the tandem ammo over here. All right. Maybe it's good enough. Okay, and then we should be able to add a void system or stealth to our mech. There we go. So again, void system. It's kind of interesting. So we have 80% mimetic stealth, uh, reducing our visibility with six charges. Char charges decay by one for every seven hacks move, which means that the enemies would just they, they just don't see us. They, they have the no visuals uh, penalty, which is a negative five. And sometimes they just don't even um, have us on, like, this battle mech on their radar. Which could be good or could be bad. Which means it is one target less that they could attack. Which means they focus the fire more on the other guys. The other option would be stealth armor. Making them just harder to hit. Doing it like that. I think that's good. That's good. Wait, do we have composite structure? We have composite structure. All right. We can go even lower. That means I can upgrade that engine to a 320 easily. Okay, we don't need we don't need composite funnily enough. So, let's keep our structure points and our repair costs down. Like our structure stru structure points up, repair costs down. I think this is what it is right now. It's not the most exciting mech, but it is a mech that will help us on the battlefield. And it's another double AMS, it's another slave unit. We are half a ton under, but I cannot really put anything anywhere right now. I think it's good. Oh wait! Oh wait! Oh wait. Um... Weapon mount heat. It's a thing I can do. Well, 3% less heat generated from this arm. Maybe I don't want it. Upper recoil is not helping. Upper spiked. Quick cell recoil. Negative three recoil with ranged weapons, but negative one accuracy. Actually, we could think about that on a heavy rock build. Risk rock build, actually. Uh, any leg actuators? Talons? Speedy legs? Yes. Yes, actually. Because we have the Dreadnought Gyro, which gives us a lot of stability. And these are taking a bit of stability away, but giving us more mobility in general. That is how we make this happen. Question composite now? Nah. I think I'd rather lower my armor a little bit. How do I do it? We are horribly overcooling the mech. That's how I do it. Oh, wait. That's interesting. Um, Let me keep my engine heat sinks. I'm gonna take these out. Cool. Now we have half a ton and we have four slots. Uh, We have more ammo. I mean talked about it earlier we have half a ton of AMS ammo that we can easily put in here that's gonna be it I think if I really wanted to I could slap another medium laser in here somehow I don't think I want to all right seems legit 600,000 now the stealth armor it's a big upgrade but that's an Atlas, guys. I really hope this thing is good on the battlefield. We're gonna see about it. 
I hope it is fast enough. And um, I think we're gonna just play and test it out in a, in a good old regular mission. But I hope that we can find a good one on this planet that we are going to. So nine days until we're there. Oh, by the way. Ah, crap. Stop here. We should check the stores whenever we are traveling over a system. There's a missile bay. How many do we have of these? Zero currently. Kinda wanna get that. Cluster bombs. Cluster bombs are fun, they deal a good chunk of stability. They have a very big AoE as well. So it's if you wanna just deal a little bit of damage everywhere, then you take that. I think I'm not gonna go there. Let's go hiring hall. Anybody here? Bokutan? Hello, Bokutan. Neural implants, pain chant, reckless, gladiator officer. I think I need her. I want to actually upgrade my land so that everybody has neural implants and I don't have to worry about that anymore. <sighs> reckless is good, gladiator is good. The, ne oh, the negative evasion is not that great. Can we take her? I think I'll skip. There, there will be more. There will be more and better people. I'm still looking for the rogue tech crew because these guys have very unique works that you never find anywhere else and that's actually quite interesting. So we are about to arrive at Hacknar and the first thing that we're gonna be doing we're gonna take a look at the hiring hall again and the store and then we're gonna play a mission. I really hope that we can play a good a big a regular battle or something. So we'll check it out. And here we are. We're not allowed to buy anything here yet again. Is this a bug? It's the second time happening. Why? Who's the store owner? The Terran hegemony. I I'm, I'm indifferent with these guys, so I, I should have access to their shop, right? Why is there no shop here? This is so awkward. All right. Anyway, uh, hiring hall, I guess. Uh, none of these. No, thank you. Cool. That means... That means we are going in. Once more into the breach. There's a duel available. That's a thing that we will certainly play. But... Oh. Ooh, oh. Battle in the desert. Gives us money. Gives us salvage. I will take it. Boom. That should be a good one. So now we need to think about the mechs and the um, the vehicles that we want to play. I kind of want to bring that Atlas. Let's bring the Phantom. By the way, name Phantom with a stealth system. That's on point here. So we need the Battlemaster to enable our C3. That's a thing. I kind of want the Archer. kind of want my flying things. Uh, and this is where we are running out of slots for mechs. So Timberwolf has to stay out of the action for the moment. We are at 555 tons. We can take the Alacorn. No, we cannot take the Alacorn. We can take the Fusion, though. Cloudbuster is 10 tons too much. Yeah, we need to upgrade that. I mean, Sea Rider. Wanna take these little guys out? Oh, this is a death trap. <laughs> I can already see it. But hey, let's try them. Oh god, they are so, so light. I should really use them as training vehicles. All right, let's start with Lance number one. Who was the dire wolf pilot and why? You were? Right, let's go. Atlas has nobody yet. Battlemaster is wizard. Eh, he's getting there. What's the, what's the affinity on the Battlemaster? Ace pilot and multi, multi-tracker? Oh, would, would, would be nice, would be nice. Archer here, Marauder, Jamie. We got six already. Phoenix is Kaspar, Fujin is Magpie. The riders don't really have anybody yet. So the question is, who do we just want to train? And hopefully not get killed? Oh boy. I need Oddball. I think I need Odd... Uh, do I? Nah. Let's get Ether on the battlefield. And you cannot run these. You can? Oh, that's nice. Okay. So, Atlas. Atlas, Atlas. Finn on the Atlas, maybe. It's not bad here. He also has the Focus Fire, and I believe he is also a military or ex-military. Yeah, the recall reduction is, is there. Sensor lock. Looking good. Looking good. That's my lance. We have 603 tons. 
and it's how we go in. So, playing in the desert, they have a support lens. Yeah, this is gonna be a rough ride. Enemies will bring high value targets. So, I think we're gonna maneuver to the right side, getting some cover here and attacking from, yeah, from, from this angle. Not like this though. Gotta make sure that I don't do a dead drop. So I'm gonna hold down my left alt button and drop manually. Just like that. There we go. We need that mobility in the first round. Super important so that we can set up and get some evasion going for us. Also, the question is, do they have reinforcements? Yes or no? It could be that we are fighting three lances at once. God, Sea Rider. <laughs> oh god. How good are you in melee? Do you have some kind of... Uh, you have boarding claws. Uh, well, they might not be that bad. Alright, here we go. Two lamps in the sky. Oh my god. Okay. Alright. That's a long time, by the way. So we have a Victor Dragon Slayer. So Gauss Rifle is on the board. The long time, but which needs to go quickly. Hunchback and then some question mark. Marksman, artillery vehicle. <laughs> Dug in as deep as possible. Um, then there is a shootist. I can deal with that. Helipolis, another artillery mech, another shootist, a Mackie. Mm, it's alright. I think left flank is fine, right flank needs to go quickly. So, how do we do it? Uh, First of all, we're gonna click convert. And then, we are little motorcycles. <laughs> Look at these guys! <laughs> Hey, we can now sprint. Oh, this is so good. This is so good. Can we actually attack in melee with these motorcycles now? Can we shoot stuff with the motorcycles? Like, what's the deal? What is the, the catch here? Why won't we always be in motorcycle mode? What's better with motorcycles? Oh, obviously mobility. But what's better in mech mode or battle armor mode? I don't know. We're gonna figure it out. Convert. Yeah, yeah. Convert. Uh, we should be able to jump like crazy now, right? No? Alright. Rum rum! Let's go! <laughs> this is so awkward. <laughs> oh no, I don't know if I want to really put these little guys into the face of a hunchback, but let's check it out. The other guys are going to jump right over to the long tom. On the high ground. Right here. Looks good. Brace it up. And then you as well. Ooh, this is toasty. Let's go here. I know I'm in, in the face of the hunchback, but this should be fine. We are braced. I think this is good. So, McPie on the fusion. First round, we're just gonna move a little bit. The tiniest amount of bits. I'll ping this. For our riders to go a little bit more accurate. Lapolis is fast. Okay. So, Archer on ATMs. ATMs on Archer. Uh, maybe I should have moved and braced. Uh, that must maybe a mistake. We'll, we'll see. Here's the Victor with the Gauss Rifle. Again, it's a nasty thing to face. Move and brace. Rhymes. And what rhymes is good. I wonder what the shooters is running. Can I see? AC-20 Mydron. Oh, you got an accurate weapon. Wait, no. This is a burst fire weapon, right? Still, pretty nasty thing to have. I put the Battle Master in front because he is very defensible right now and he can absorb a bit of damage. And then we have our stealthy boys in the back. The Dire Wolf and the Atlas. And I really wonder how fast the Atlas can go. So here's Jester on the Wolf. Get on the high ground. Race it up. Uh, D and I. So, and then Finnan. So, Finnan wants to not sprint, but move and brace, because when he moves, he's getting entrenched, and if he braces, he's getting the bulwark ability. So here we go. Not able to shoot the hunchback. Uh, unfortunate. So that means we're gonna not do anything right now. Maybe we give the hunchy a turn. He's very fast, it's a turn 24 attack. Long Tom is 17. We have 20 here and 21 here. So our goal is to kick the Long Tom early on. Hunchback. You got a Gauss rifle on a Hunchback? That's nasty. 
This is very nasty. 24. Another Gauss. Man, this is Gauss heaven here. Alright. Gotta dodge everything, guys. So the Hanshi is an actual priority target for me. So long Tom first, then Hanshi, then Victor. Don't hit me. That's fine. I, I can get hit with lasers as long as you don't shoot the Gauss in my back. I am perfectly okay with that. This is good. Okay, Archer. Somebody needs to concentrate on the left flank as well. Ooh, I think this is gonna hurt. So we have a very good hit chance on the Halepolis, which is definitely a thing that we want to take down first. Or let's say early. Or the shootist. Are you running XL? You do not. And you have the gun on the left arm. That means the right side attack doesn't really give us anything. Ugh. Alright. Take away uh, evasion. Doesn't work, but anyway, doesn't cost us anything. We're gonna absorb some damage. Try to kill Helepolis. Ah, close. Very close. So we are not able to hit. Huh? That means it... So it seems to me like we are not able to fire any weapon when we're in motorbike mode. Which means we're gonna reserve even further. Because I don't want to get back into, like, man mode and then just move, like, for one evasion and get hit by this. I need to make sure that my pilots don't die in these little things. That doesn't help here. It does not help at all. Ugh. Yeah, let's go. Let's do nothing. For the moment. Maybe we can do something next round. Maybe we don't, but it doesn't matter again. It's just for the experience gain. Training on the battlefield is better than in the simulators. How much armor do we have? Ow. Not that much. 60 armor and what, 20 struct? 25 structure? We can take a hit. One. But that's it. Problem is we always get an injury whenever we are getting hit. Um, and then they ask the question, do we go for a melee attack? I think the answer is yes. We don't drop any bombs. This is the better option, I feel. Let's get the long tom down. 320 armor! Oh my god. So it seems our AGM actually hit, and we hit him a bunch from the front. Let's go, Helepolis. You horribly missed, which I'm very happy about. So, that means we will take this guy with whoever is right here. Cool. From the front. Kick. Let's go... Incendiary, because it deals more damage. Please don't miss. Right, we hit him. Front armor is going down like crazy. Is it going to be enough? One more! More! Ah! So close. So close. Uh, yeah, we can take this long term though. It's almost down. We just need the right mech to do it. We got some LRMs on the battlefield still. When I say some, I mean like all of them. But my Dire Wolf is slower than the long term. Long term is 17, Dire Wolf is 15. So who do we have? 19 on Bullet Trap. Oh yeah, that's that's some nice LR image. Mm, we might want to reinforce here. And then shoot indirectly. At the long term. Okay. So, I'm gonna go for... I think it's LK mostly. We don't need a lot, and I want to keep my special ammo for later. Cool. Tom is down, I repeat. The Tom is down. Very important. We could maybe acquire that for our lands, but we gotta keep in mind, we only get two picks in this mission, so we shouldn't really fiddle around with anything, we should just go for the kill whenever possible. Five evasion, I love it. Keep pushing, pushing, pushing. And killing, maybe. Elepolis is not an issue anymore. We got two kills already, that's beautiful. Maybe we can take another one. What about that backstrike? 
I'll take it. Gauss to the front. We're gonna punch a hole into his armor and then follow up with the splashy stuff. Into air missiles. Sure. These are streak, right? Yeah, so either they hit or they don't shoot at all, so we don't lose the ammo. Let's go. Easy kill. Perfect. Oh, I love when the plan comes together. The right flank is almost taken. That is so damn good. We're gonna sprint. We're gonna try to contest the, contest the victor. Maybe we get there, maybe we don't. 45 damage from the peep. Alright. So far, so good. We still have two of our secret weapons here. Hmm. Yeah. Let's do that. So, why is our hit chance so bad? We get no sensors. Really? Why? So, D and I on. Do we have just a sad, a sad yeah, a sad sensor roll? <sighs> Negative one. We really just had a bad sensor roll. Alright then, we're gonna try to fire at him anyway. It is just a great target in front of us that we want to try to take down. Finnan. Our sprint mobility is actually legit. Let's go over here. Get the Atlas in there. Oh yes! So, I don't want to really crank up the ruck rate of fire so much because I don't want to jam it and not have it next round. I think four shots is fine with all of what we got here. Let's do it. Yeah, three would have been already. It's good. It's very good. And all of that with only a double bin of ammo. So efficient, man. Cool. So who can I shoot in the back? The shootist? I'll take that. Thank you. It's also kind of interesting, Hero is getting a crazy amount of resolve each round. That's so good, man. Get him. Yeah, AC-20 is down at the very least. Full mech destruction. Yes. See an Orion here, huh? No, it's a Hunchback, never mind. And, wait, did they call in an Emperor? That thing wasn't on the battlefield before. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I say. Yeah, difficult. I don't want to fall behind so much, but I have a very good shot on the victor right now. I'll take that. Let's go. We might get something done here. And... I will sensor lock him. I didn't see any big stealthy units on the battlefield, so we can be relatively easy with that. Just drop it whenever we need and increase our hit chance, hit chance by a little bit more. Hydra ammo. I have not really used it that much. Tandem? Incendiary? Let's go Incendiary. Still deals damage and overheats him a little. Massive stability, massive heat. 90 units of heat. Beautiful. Oh, oh, oh. So, we were just not in line of sight earlier. Let's go, Ether. I'm gonna go Warlord because I want to really hit that guy. Let's do it. Would you look at that? That's some serious damage. Cool. Um, Magpie. Yeah, we attack him from the side, which is already damaged. That's the arm where the Gauss rifle also sits. So we might be able to take it down. Afterwards, he's not that big of an issue anymore. There we go. Gauss down. I'm happy with that. All of a sudden, this guy this is not a big threat. Still has a PPC, I know, and some support weapons, but anyway, I don't care. Good. So, 25, what do you got? The Gauss Rifle Hunchback still. Two of them, actually. Oh, no! That's a through armor critical. They destroyed my shoulder. Oh, and that's a lot of proto heat sinks which I are sitting in that slot. Mm. I kind of want to fall back. Showing my right side a bit more. So this could result in a stray shot. It probably will. 
not if I go LRM. And I'm I'm accepting the chance of getting hit by my own laser. That's fine. This is perfectly okay. This is acceptable. Did we get hit? We did not get hit. No, we were fine. Don't! Fuck! These gauss shots are crazy. We we have to take him down. Holy crapperoni. Rawr. Let's go in here. Having these mobile motorbikes is actually quite fun. For that little tonnage, you know, these are cleanup crews. Whenever we need that little bit of extra punch, I can send in the motorbikes. I should really make use of them a bit more and maybe give them a dedicated pilot to run. You know, somebody that I'm not really that worried about if they died. Um, but they can also grind affinity, you know? These are good. They are so low on tonnage. We can just squeeze them in. Ah, but anyway. Oh, this is gonna be good. Huh? There? 13 sprint? Oh, let's do it. So here's the thing. I want to drop all the bombs on these guys. Let's go. Question is, what is my best hit chance? On the hunchback, which would probably be my main target. Although it would be better if I hit this area for maximum effect of the splash. I'll do it like that. Okay. So I... I Oh, wrong ordering. I was like, where are my mines? Of course, we dropped the mines, then the bombs came in and exploded the mines. <laughs> no mines for me. We gotta order it in a, in a different way. Mines after the high explosives. Oh my god. Oh my god! Headshot! We're bleeding. Okay, we gotta do something about that. But you know what? We have things to deal with the problems in front of us. Like... A fully ramped up rotary freaking auto cannon. Mm, and a sensor lock to go with it, right? Still fighting at long range here, that's the problem. That's a plus four modifier. But if I sensor lock this guy and he's not immune, I'll take his two evasion away. Yeah. Okay, so now we shoot and kill. It has to be a kill. Also, I want to be fast next round. Let's go. Damn. Hunchback down through an engine crit, so we could salvage another Gauss rifle if we wanted to. Great. Go and keep sprinting. Maybe we want to stay away from the Mackie. Yep, definitely. So we stay on the high ground for the moment. If they get us, if they get a shot on us, so be it. But I don't need to expose myself there. Let's go for the other Hunchback. Gauss rifles are nasty as hell. Actually, I think... I think Vigilance is better than Warlord here, so we have more any next round. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. So, turn 17. They still have the Shootist. Uh-oh. Five shots from that auto cannon. Like, the damage is split with multiple or between multiple projectiles. Uh, the Mackie might actually hit my flyer. does not. Good. That headshot, man. When things like that happen, the butt cheeks are clenching. Big time. I don't want to jump, but I'm not on a good spot, so we have to... We have to get somewhere where we can get direct line of sight, and that's just down here. 7%? Really? Alright. 18 now. I think I'm not gonna shoot my 10s, but this is gonna be like a swarm attack with the gal shot. Yeah. Try to go for headshots, maybe we get a random hit on them so that they bleed out. But we didn't get it. So, lots of turn 30 action. The Hunchback is actually fast here. Holy crap. I thought I could overpower him before he gets another shot out. Six evasion, it helps. Alright. That is very, very good. I'm gonna go hero first. Yeah. Yeah, totally. 
we should have our sensor lock ready. No, next round. Okay, so we go Vigilance again. Hero is generating so much of it and he's barely using any when we actively use an ability. This is so massive. We'll take the Shooters first because the Hunchback has already ta taken a turn and we have enough backliners to deal with him still. So let's go with this shot. Maybe? Not quite, not quite. Then, let me see. There's more stuff that we can do. Alright, the Juggernaut is moving forward. Slowly, but steadily. Mm. Again, Vigilance is great. Uh, enhanced Imaging is also pretty good, right? Gotta make sure that I don't overheat, because then I will take injuries with Enhanced Imaging online. Yeah, let's go with that. He took it like a boss. Holy hell. You know what? There is more. There is way more where that came from. I can go over here and shoot the Hunchbot. Yeah, why not? Got the riders in there. Fine. I know the hit chance was rather garbage and it was maybe a waste of ammo, but uh, I think the fight is gonna be over this or next round even. Okay, so shootest, please go. I don't need you. I don't want you. So whatever I do, I get three damage. Hmm. I want to keep my incendiaries for later. Let's go with this for the moment. Ballistic crit, at the very least. This guy is taking more of my attention than I want to. Huh. So, uh, one more unit here. Was kind of hoping that I could drop my Gauss rifle on the hunchback, but I think I need to do it here. <laughs> Wrong side. We need the right arm. Uh, the left arm, not the right side. Well, well, well. Okay, who's here? 28. Nightstar! What? No! The sneaky little dude guy coming out of nowhere. How? Yo, that was crazy. Holy crap. Holy crap, Aroni. Uh, what, what is your heat status there, Emperor? Can I? No, I don't know. Okay, good. So I will finish. Let me go Apollo. I will finish that, dude. Finally. That has to be a kill. Yeah. Oh, a Night Star. He took my Fujin down. Do I, care? I, do, I do care about the Fujin. Actually, I do care about it. We didn't lose Magpie, don't worry. We didn't uh, get hit in the crew compartment. Just the side was destroyed. So if we lose it now, I'd be actually a little bit sad about it. A little bit. 23. Uh, don't hit your friends. <laughs> Through armor crit. All right. That's pretty good. Kaspar, you're bleeding out. Better get back. Definitely out of the way of the Emperor. Gonna vigilance you up. And then we're gonna shoot Mr. Hunchy. Gonna try again. Fast cam. It's incendiary fast cam. Ah, it's gonna be high explosive. Just deal damage. It's fine. No need for experiments right now. I just wanna get out of this mission. It's getting a bit too much for me. Cool. Uh, SRM. Sight. Yeah, we got the ballistic crit, but the Gauss rifle did not explode yet. Good. So, 19. Now it's getting interesting. How accurate are you? The answer is yes. <laughs> the answer is just yes. The Emperor is an actual... An actual threat to us. Crazy. Good. Good for him. Bad for us. And I don't want to jump again, but I kind of feel I need to. So I I bet we have bad sensors. No, we have good sensors again, but why do we why do we have such a bad hit chance? Like what's the deal here? Medium range. Huh. What what's our fire control system again? I think it's bad. Flak. It's bad. <laughs> uh, it's uh, an evasion ignore one. 
Uh, let's go cool, cool shot. Let's do it like this. Let's go regular ammo on everything. Mm -hmm. Blow him up, come on. There we go. So Hanji is down. Three more enemies. We have a Night Star, a Mickey, and we have the Emperor in the back. Oh boy. I, I would say, by the way, Atlas is performing like a boss. I love him. Absolutely love him. Good. So, Mr. Nightstar, I have two things for you. First of all, there's a sensor lock that I really want to put on you because you are nasty as hell. Okay, evasion unchanged. Fine. Secondly, I'm, I'm gonna go vigilance because I am afraid of your Gauss rifles. Okay? And thirdly, I'm gonna offensively push you to the leg. We only pushed him back one turn. But wait, there's more. There's totally more. Seven activations remaining. The only thing that I'm afraid of right now is that we might punch out randomly. Stay in the back, moving for 10. Yeah? This is all about the narc and the bombs, nothing else. And of course, another offensive push. The leg. Let's go. Narked him. Perfect for follow-up. Now he's turn 17. Good, good, good. And Kaspar stays. He's panicked. I know. We need to fix him up next round. What the, what the frick, dude, guy? Emperor! Is it the pilot or is it the mech that's so devastating for us? Holy crap. Uh, should have used somebody else. Who's next, actually? Who's the same innie here? I need to check this. 28. 28 is Bjorn. Where's Bjorn? Bjorn on the rider? We have 27. It's Wizard on the Battlemaster. I wonder if I should shoot a backliner with the missiles. Mackie is out of the fight. He's not relevant. Uh, yeah, I'm helping out here. I think we will have the Night Star without the help of these LRMs. It's gonna be alright. Okay. So... Here comes the Rider in red. What's your active ability? Heh, <laughs> Warlord. Let's do it. The little guys cannot be braced, so vigilance makes no sense. But hey, we dealt 14 damage. Every bit counts. Good. So. Uh, as I was saying, I want to get the Battlemaster in here. We want to shoot some SRMs at this fool. Let's go, I don't know, control bursts. We could, or less heat build up. That's good. Vigilance for damage absorption in case we need it. I was hoping that we kill here. But wait, there's more. I hear a vehicle. Who this? Huh? All right, let's see what we can do with ether. Oh my god. Um, so most of the damage went to our own unit. We had a like 50% something hit chance and we completely dumped it into the other rider. Oh, what? <laughs> okay. Yes, I'll take it. Here's my juggernaut. Atlas says Rar. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. Not enough. Phew. Jamie, 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 Jamie. The problem is there's only one way to go. Who else is here? After Jamie. Nobody. Okay. Then Jamie has one task. And that task is to obliterate the Night Star. Let's go down here. We're gonna hit Vigilance so that we have a high hit chance, a high initiative next round. I mean, his Gauss rifles were down. Thermal exchange of three. What? All right. Interesting. Let's see what we can get in the end. Let's 
It's a lot of heat that we generate. I know. I know, I know, I know. Okay. Yeah. Anyway, I'll do it like this. That emperor needs to fall. Cool. I think we can make that happen. Let's take Jamie first. Where's the vehicle that I heard? I think in this area. I don't know. So awkward. Wait, this guy's not even part of the active lands, right? Yeah, it's not. I think I hear a helicopter still. Alright. Okay. Got some serious, serious armor, my friend. Let's go with everything. Standard um, uh, ammunition. I'm gonna actually give him another offensive push because I'm afraid of his initiative. Cool. That worked. Still turn 20. 29. Something is here. Yeah. Yeah, they're here. Okay. Let's get in. Let's shoot him like a boss. So, he was like 21 first. Who's there? Who's that on the Battle Master? Ether is here. Ether is on the... On the bike, right? Yeah. It's not helping. Phoenix is here. Okay, I'm gonna shoot him regularly, hoping that we have enough damage. Let's go. Good clustering. Oh, we got him. Very, very nice. So, whatever that is that we hear and that is pinging us, I think it's not relevant to the fight, to be honest. Okay, here comes the wizard. Let's go, Battlemaster. Attack the mech. Let's see. I should have probably given him a, a turn so that I'm not exposed against his uh, AC20 and stuff. PPCs. Okay, here we go. We have a clear line of fire now. Five damage at a time. Nice. Uh, I'll do first aid now. You're fine there. You are not. You know what? I want to try to find whatever is trying to sneak up on us. So let's go here. You are a scout now. Man, I had to jump in order to get into line of sight again, but I think it is necessary. Here we go. Let's go Vigilant again. Heat is good. Are we running any kind of radical that's about to explode? The answer is yes, we do. We should cool it down. Okay. Great. Uh, nominal. Good. Oh, wait, we got an injury out of that. Huh. Why? We were fine. We were cooling down in the at the end of this. Okay, this is this is weird. Cool. Can only shoot indirectly, but that's okay. And this is our first jam, by the way. Maybe I should move further though, because there might be a backstabber coming around the corner that I'm not aware of that's just killing us. <sighs> Who knows? Uh LRMs. Forgot that we had not enough anymore. Last shot was only 10 SRMs, although we wanted to shoot 30, we only shot 10, which was suboptimal, obviously. I think we're gonna get Mackie down now, and then we're gonna go home. Problem is the line of sight, which we don't get. Hmm. Okay. Ooh! That's still pretty good! Injury resisted... Alright, let's go here. This could be it, the last 60 shots. Maybe. I mean, we still have other ammo types still, but mechies are... Yeah, rather easy to kill as soon as we get some criticals on them. Good. That should be it. That should settle this. So we can bring the flyer in and hopefully seal the deal. 
Kablam. On the lake. I don't know. Headshot again. Now he's bleeding. He's still standing, man. He's still freaking standing. Comes the rider. <laughs> Ether's like, hey, I can shoot all of my weapons. Isn't that fun? And Bjorn is like, yeah, totally fine, buddy. It's okay. Oh, nice practice shot. Next time, please aim a little higher. Okay, so I think we did it. Mission Yay. Successful. So we have a bunch of injuries to take home with us here. Interesting. It was a good mission, though. It was uh, kind of scary in the early game. We completely obliterated the right flank, and then the left flank actually gave us some hell. The Emperor was a surprise here. That thing was really strong. I think it was... Nah, the Night Star as well. I wanted to say it was the strongest enemy here, but the Night Star and the Emperor, both of them. Holy hell. And then, of course, my own friendly fire. <laughs> anyway, that's what we get. Let's take a look at all of these beautiful, beautiful items. By the way, Emperors are not bad because they have, um, I think, the ballistics on the arm, which means you can make great double ruck builds with them. They're only 90 tons, but still. And they also get focus fire for, for one arm-mounted accuracy. They have laser cooling jackets eh, as a base quirk, and then also super cooled lasers with another negative 10% heat generated with lasers, cool running, and then high pressure cooling. Ah, this is, this is all right, I guess. I don't want the Emperor, though. We got two parts of a mobile long term. I mean, we got two, right? We're barely using our Ella Corn, and the tonnage is the problem. This is our big restriction, and this is a 100-ton unit. Mackie is not interesting to me right now. Marksman is alright, but not great. Night Stars are fun. Variable range targeting. Hmm, good. Also, long range accuracy, extreme range accuracy, and then all range tracking and more heat. This is a good one. It's the J variant, Command Mech. I think the SL is extremely good. Also, five ballistic hard points. Oh, baby. Nightstar would be a good one in the late game, I feel. What's the North Storm? Only 50 damage, but AoE. Yeah, right, that's it. Sniper artillery times two. Whoa, double cooling jacket. Holy hell. Oh, wait. I think they changed it. It's only 5% heat reduction. I think it used to be 10? Hmm. What's the Gauss sniper? Three accuracy with Gauss rifles. I mean, when using Gauss rifles, I believe we're gonna use the, the Dire Wolf with the Hag fire control system. Gives us only two, but also 20% more damage. And negative one recall, which we don't care about. Oh, wait. Do we? North Storm? I don't see recoil. Is this good? 50 damage plus AoE? I think when... I mean, the AoE damage would also probably be increased by by the, the, the fire control system hack, or right? No? Maybe? I'm not sure. Seven laser insulators. Oh boy. Weapon mount accuracy. Hell yeah. Oh my god. Advanced optics mark three. There's some very good stuff here. So the optics would obviously be very good for our Atlas. So he can be a bit more reliable with his accuracy. And when I say a bit, I mean a lot. This would, it would immediately help our mech. Instantly. Hmm. Then, the North Storm Gauss Rifles would be an interesting pick as well. Cooling Jackets are very good. Seven Laser Insulators are fine. I would love to get the, the Accuracy Weapon Mounts as well. So that plus the Optics would be good. So it's either Weapon Mount and Optics for just more Accuracy, which is how you win games. Um, ba -ba -ba -ba. Or, Double Cooling Jacket, or... Double North Storm Gauss Rifle, or double Long Tom. So we might get it. Or the, the, double Night Star to, at some point, build a Night Star. One, two, three, four, five parts here. So even if we take two, we then had a third. We needed two more randomly to get there, but we only have nine total, so seven random items. 
I, I don't know what to take. <laughs> this is so much. Ah, what would you do? This is such a tough choice. Okay, but let's be real. Let's be real. We are currently going to Solaris, so we need money. That means we cannot afford building a mech. We can't afford building a tank. We can't afford making our mechs better. I'm not gonna take the Nightstar then, because that's out of reach. I feel it has to be this plus weapon mount accuracy. That's huge. Especially for later builds when we go for like a double arm, double rack build or something like that. It's gonna be massive. Cooling jackets are fun. The North Storm is just something that another weapon system would do as well. It's, it's something funny, but not great, I would say. And the long term is an uh, is a unit that we cannot really field right now because we have a tonnage restriction which we we suffer from hard. So that's gonna be the immediate thing that helps us. So I'm gonna click that. Helepolis, Mackey, Blankenburg, MG6, no, standard. Okay, so we got completely host on the random salvage. But anyway, I like the weapon mount. I like that we got Optics Mark III now. We're going to utilize those. And yeah, that's that's been it for today, guys. I hope you enjoyed the episode. If you did, then don't forget to leave a rating, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.